One of Nicole's fondest memories was planning her future wedding with her mom. I heard this many times before we got engaged. <laughs> Maybe a not so subtle hint or a way of broaching the subject of marriage. We got engaged on a Friday night. It was about a year ago. I kid you not, by Saturday morning, Nicole, seven o'clock over coffee, has her computer up. We have spreadsheets, we have pictures, and we have PowerPoints. <laughs> I quickly learned what I was getting myself into. <laughs> about Nicole. She is the girl that has your back in any situation. She's the one that sticks up for those that she loves and she's never afraid to tell you how she feels. Everybody says communication is the key to any great marriage and Adam, we both know our girl, she's not afraid to tell you how she feels and maybe tell you a few times until you really hear her. She's strong, she's honest, she's supportive. You are a once in a lifetime kind of friend. Growing up with Adam was not always the easiest. My sister and I always joke that, you know, he was as close to perfect as we would ever get. He, we called him Saint Adam. He, he led by example. He was, he never misbehaved. It was great. Seriously, growing up, um, I could always look to Adam for, for guidance, mentorship. He was the best big brother that I could ever imagine. I quite clearly remember when Adam and Nicole met on Bumble. Nicole and I had our fair share of looking at the guys on Bumble, swiping left and right for her, and I also got my fair share of SOS texts during some of those dates. But then came Adam. She had let me know she was going on a date with this guy and they were going to Green Street Local. So that night I remember sitting by my phone, waiting for an update like I usually did, and I didn't get anything, which made me think, okay, maybe this date's going pretty well. And let's just say it did, because after that, they were basically inseparable, and I knew from that day on that this guy was different. There's a dad for a day like today. Your beauty and the pantry of all this, and all our friends here today. I don't know if I've uh, had a larger collection of, of loved ones and friends together in my life. It's just amazing. Welcome, family and friends. On behalf of Nicole and Adam, I want to thank you all for gathering here today to celebrate their marriage. You have come from near and far to be here, which is a testament to the amazing amount of love and support with which they are surrounded. In a minute, you are gonna make promises to each other in front of all these people. Remember how you feel today. Remember why you want to make these promises today. Remember that you are establishing, in the words of the poet, a relationship in which the independence is equal, the dependence is mutual, 
and the obligation is reciprocal. May all the years to come be filled with moments to celebrate and renew your love for one another. I, Nicole, take you, Adam, to be my wedded husband. I, Adam, take you, Nicole, to be my wedded wife. I will share my life with you and build our dreams together. Support you through times of trouble and rejoice with you in times of happiness. I promise to give you respect, love, and loyalty. This commitment is made in love, kept in faith, lived in hope, and cherished for as long as we both shall live. Let all people here and everywhere recognize and respect the promises that Nicole and Adam have made today. And now, Adam, you may kiss your beautiful bride. Nicole and I, we honestly just cannot say thank you enough for everybody attending tonight. This means the world to us to have those that have touched our lives in so many ways here celebrating with, the, with us today. We couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you for being part of our lives and part of our day. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce the bride and groom. Please give it up for Dr. and Mrs. Adam and Nicole Shelko! remember walking into the house when you were three or four years old and there would be you and mom sitting in a chair barely big for the two of you looking at wedding magazines or saying yes to the dress and if I didn't time my home time right I had to watch it long right along with you guys uh, but um, one thing that she promised me to tell you today was that you were perfect The love and care that you and Penny had for Cole has come through in so, so many ways. I see it every single day, and so I thank you for that, for raising the girl of my dreams. And to my parents, your guys' love and care and support, unconditional, endless my entire life, that means the world to me. And lastly, to my bride, which now I get to say to my wife, from the day I met you, you've changed my world. I couldn't imagine a future without you in it. You never cease to amaze me. Everyone, please raise a glass. Thank you all for helping us celebrate Nicole and my special day. Cheers. What kind of advice do I give such a great couple like Adam and Nicole? When I look at you two, it really comes down to these small little acts of kindness, generosity, putting each other first, putting your relationship first, and eventually putting your family first. Shaq, but a huge part of who you are that I would be remiss not to mention is because of who raised you, and that is your dad, Bob, and of course, the one person we're missing here most tonight, your mom, Penny. So many of the qualities and values that you have that I love so much is in part because of her. 
I know she's absolutely over the moon that this is the man you're marrying. So if everyone could please raise your glass to Nicole and Adam. Today is the first day of the rest of your life together. And I know that life is going to be so incredible. I love you both so much. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations.